little trip for the next 30 minutes called the history of Newfoundland in a hurry. All right, so we're going to start with introductions. I is Aunt Luce, and I is your screecher tonight. I would like to find out who you are and where you are from, and we will start right here. My name is Steve, and I'm from Halifax. Steve from Halifax, welcome. Woo, woo. I am Fab, and I'm from Vancouver. Welcome. Woo! <laughs> I'm Lauren. Uh, my grandfather, my grandparents are from Newfoundland. The girls probably here for the bachelorette. And plus, it's the best place to have a bachelorette. Oh, yeah. uh, all right, right in the back. Joanne, welcome. Well right next to Joanne. <laughs> Laura, Sarah from Toronto. Elena from Toronto. Corey from Toronto. Cash on the laser pointer. My laser pointer has batteries, but I need to be missed. Justina from Vancouver. Right behind Justina. I did on it. Okay. Sean Montreal. What? I'm Quentin Ford. Yes. I'm Quentin Ford. There was was a questioning to Sean's heritage there. (laughs) (laughs) Sean, do you you not know where you're from? Ford and Montreal. That's what he says. Apparently, Sean don't know. So Sean, <laughs> Sean's in the witness protection. So don't take any All right. In front Sean of Sean. Mike from Ottawa. Mike from Ottawa. I'm Quentin from Richmond Hill, Ontario. Welcome, Ooh. Quentin. Tony from Ottawa. Tony from Ottawa. Chris from Ottawa. Behind Chris. Jamie from Ottawa. Behind Jamie. Rupert from Ottawa. And the man in the blue coat. Glenn from Ottawa. Johnny from Ottawa. Wiggy from Ottawa. Teddy from Ottawa. Mike from Amherst. Andrew from Toronto. Greg from Ottawa. Is that all? Is that everybody? All right. Okay. We're going to collect all your taxes. Okay. We are going. To try to teach you a little bit about our heritage, our culture, our dialect. We are going to start right out of the gate with three words in Newfoundland: Krog, puddock, and glutch. Krog is food for your puddock, which is your stomach, and we are going to glutch it back. Now, I very lovingly cooked you supper, and I'm still not your wife. (laughs) 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 You are looking at all this. This is going to be our hors d'oeuvres for this evening. Now, don't worry if you're vegetarian. Don't repeat this thing. (laughs) (laughs) This is what we like to call Newfoundland steak. Now, most of you are looking at it and thinking it looks a little bit like the Well, that's because it is. Now, you're wondering why we call it Newfoundland steak. Well, there's a whole big old story about that. Now, apparently, according to the sheets and your answers, except for Sean, who don't know where he's from, uh, there is a big contingent of people here from either Ottawa or Toronto, okay? So, you all flew, most of you, right from Toronto, the, the infamous saying of the direct flight to Newfoundland. Now that's right up there with the white whale from the story. Okay, the direct flight to Newfoundland. So normally how that flight goes is you're in Toronto, you're waiting, you know you're at the right gate going to Newfoundland because you already start to not understand a few people. <laughs> so you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you get on the plane, we're going to go to Newfoundland. All very exciting, all very exciting. You get up there, doodle 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 doodle, pilot goes beep. There's fog in Newfoundland, there's fog in here about three days of the year. So he touches down in Halifax, you got to go down there. Now, you're a little disappointed, but Halifax is not bad. The people in Halifax have been waiting 15 hours to get out of the place. <laughs> <laughs> They're really happy that you got delayed. Like I said, you're vegetarian, you got no worse. <laughs> now, while they are doing that, we're going to continue our little journey, okay? <laughs> If you're going to do something else with it, you tell me. I'll add that to my show. I mean, I, I pride myself on being a family show, but it is, it is after eight, so anything goes. The girls are in it all. All right, while we are all fighting over my cooking, see, 
you wishes I was your wife now. Anyway, while you're fighting over my coffin, we're going to continue our journey. Most people, when they first come to Newfoundland, and I heard you guys chatting about this earlier, for gentlemen here, about the accent. You don't have an accent, or you do have an accent, or you thought Riyadh had an accent, he's from New Zealand. So, most people, most people are apparently very wrapped up in this infamous Newfoundland accent that they magically think we all have. All right? So the thing is, someone said to me once, we don't have an accent. My answer was, which one of the 490 would you like me to have? <laughs> because there are about 490 and then some. Every single community in this island has a different accent because their history and how they got there, they all came from different places. So it all sounds completely different. You will never have the Newfoundland accent. There is no magical beast, okay? So we're going to stop trying to teach you that. We're just going to get you to understand why we sound the way that we do. All right? So we're going to start with that little story. Is that fighting over the globe? Oh, okay. The boy's got some extra. The girls are needed. I'll, 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 you guys not eat? I got like a salt, like a The girls are very hung up on instructions. Are you not engineers or something? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We are going to continue with our history lesson that we figured out the globe. Alright? So, there was a wonderful man by the name of Giovanni Caboto. He was Italian. Now, most people know him as John Kett. That's just as the English paid for his movie rights, okay? So, Giovanni landed in a beautiful place in Newfoundland called Buena Vista, Buena Vista, his beautiful view. When he landed in 1497, he discovered this island and its beauty. He put out buckets on either side of the ship. He was hoping to pull up water. What he pulled up was cowfish. He could not believe his eyes of how plentiful the cowfish were in our water. Soon word got out all around the world that we are here. The codfish was the center of all culture in Newfoundland. 85% of all of our traditional occupations come from the cod fishery. A huge amount of all our traditional recipes are based on the codfish or use the codfish. Most of the things that came to the island only came here because the codfish was our currency. We traded the fish with the Jamaicans, with people up along, to get all these wonderful things people wouldn't normally have. We love the codfish so much, every time it left our wharf, we would get down on our knocks, our knees. We'd kiss the fish goodbye, knowing it was going to come back to us in the way of the rum you're going to meet in a minute, and the bologna which you devoured. So, in keeping with the time honored tradition, we are all going to kiss little Luce here. Now, there are only one set of instructions for this. If you have people taking pictures of you, you want to make sure you wait till you see a flash or hear a plate. Because if not, you're going to hear me say the worst words ever, and let's do it again. <laughs> but you know what? Okay, so we don't know where he's from. Montreal, 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 kiss the card, Montreal. Did he get you, Joey? 
They're just like all my girlfriends. They're kissing everybody in this room. So we got a picture of me here. Where are we are now? Wait, John, John. Okay, she said kiss the card. Don't make love to it. So much for COVID, eh? Did you see that card card? Quick picture. Don't go and talk. Don't tell me it's Tony. Don't tell me it's Tony. Hey, Tony. I'll keep it going long. <laughs> yeah, this is clear. Sure, sure. You ready? This last name's not this. Gotta be like 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 I'm a tease. All right, here we go. I got my other girlfriend. Who's that? Me. Like this. <laughs> what? Yeah. I have to take a You look like you're not part of this. All right. You're not supposed to date anybody. Yes! So, 
the toes. Over the gums, look out, Potter, here's here it comes. comes. Woo! Woo! He can't hear you right now. He's with it. That's mine. That's He's in with his protection. He knows where he's in. He's just empty so, here. All right. So we are going to try you a little test about our diet, okay? So people say they don't understand Newfoundlanders when they first get off at the airport or most importantly when they get to a cab. Um, they don't understand this. We don't understand them because we think we're quite sensible, all right? So I know I keep picking on you, Sean, but you know. Sean, wherever you were from, Montreal, Ottawa, how would you greet your friend? I would greet my friend and say, hi, how you doing, buddy? Uh, see, that shows you don't know where he's from. Yeah. <laughs> That's five different places. Come on in the woods. How's it going? Oh. Did you live in Red Deer? <laughs> No, uh, so I want to know how you say hello where you're from. Uh, not how I say it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, then how do I do it? I just say, where are you from? No, you say hi. 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 Like, how would you say hi? I was going to say it. Uh, I'm full of tricks. Okay, you just say, hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Hey ladies. Hey ladies. So we got Beyonce and Red Deer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Or am I from Red Deer? So when I see my friends, I greet them one way, and I say, "Dita is the old cock, long big dip drop." Oh, no, there's no O in that pattern. That's what he said. That's what he said. All right. You obviously didn't understand that. That's okay. I don't expect you to understand it, because the whole point of this story is that people struggle with what the players say. So I'm going to actually break it into three parts and explain to you the meaning behind that, and then you will never forget us again. All right? The first part, deed, I, is. You can read Shakespeare or know anything about Old English. That's all that is. Deed, I, is means indeed I am. The second part is me, old cock. Cock comes from the British word cocky, which is my friend, my buddy, my good pal. The third part, and long, may your big jib drop. If there's anyone here who's a sailor, they will know that the jib is the biggest sail on a schooner. And if I want the schooner to go somewhere, it needs wind in its sail, and that's called drawing. So if you put the three pieces together, it's hello, my friend, safe travels today, which is a really nice tree. Absolutely. <laughs> it just sounds a little cool. We're sometimes, right? So we are going to say that together. Keep it in the three parts. I will say it. You will repeat it after me. So I'm That's the biggest word I got. So, y'all good? I mean, we did struggle with realizing who was a screecher or not. So some of the instructions got to get you know, a little bit more repetitive. All right, I'm going to use me or to keep us in time here. Oh, look at you, I swear to God. All right. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. Yep. Deed no. I is. Deed I is. Me all cock. Me all cock. And long. And long. long. May your big. May your big. Jib drop. Jib drop. Excellent. Give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Tests are almost done. I have certificates for you all, but I do have 
a couple of other little things I would like to tell you about this beautiful province of mine before we finish the show. So we will start with my beautiful hometown of St. John's. You are in the oldest city in North America. Water Street, just down here, is the oldest street in North America. The Royal Newfoundland Regatta, which happens on the first Wednesday of August every year, except for when we get all our COVID, <laughs> is the longest continuous running sporting event in North America. Which Newfoundlanders is? are some of the funniest people in the yes. entire world. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 